Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Daily Divine with Spiritual Findings. I'm Beer Lynn. Today, I'm going to be reading for my lovely Tauruses for December 20th, 2019. All right, guys, now I know we have a lot going on for some of you guys who are celebrating the holidays coming up, um, for some of you guys who have something special planned to welcome in the new year. I know you're kind of really feeling the stress today. Um, you know, you might be feeling a little bit guilty about stuff maybe you didn't get around to um, let's just kind of push that off for now because this is not what this time of year is about okay we're kind of at this time of year remembering what we experienced in 2019 and you know we're being grateful for the things that we have accomplished but also we're remembering the goals that we want to accomplish for 2020 okay so on December 20th 2019 Let's get some insight for my Tauruses, and we have a lot of it. <laughs> we have a lot of This is the original Rider Waite deck here. I'm going to be reading from maybe the fairies, the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, or the angels later. I'm going to see where I really feel the need to pull from. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these deck reviews, I do have a video on that, or if any of you guys are learning, interested in learning tarot, go ahead and check that out. I am also offering a free reading for every Daily Divine. All you guys have to do is share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and more importantly, leave a comment below that you've done so for your free chance. I also do live streams too. Those are fun. All right, so we're starting off with the Eight of Swords. So I'm feeling that we kind of have hmm, a regret today, a sense of regret. And like I said, that might be because we're rolling on to the holidays, we're rolling on to the new year. Um, something that we didn't really get to this year that's kind of like been on our mind. Perhaps maybe we had a dream of it. Um, you know, maybe we just like picked up the mail and there was something about it. Um, you know, a late fee. Something's just kind of making you feel stuck a little bit. But we're also moving from that card immediately to the Nine of Cups. So maybe you're seeing the light of the end and the light of the tunnel with the finances, with the emotions, with feeling comfortable. It might not be where you are right now, or perhaps maybe right now, Taurus, you are in that stage, the being comfortable. But because you know the work is ahead. Now, for today, perhaps maybe just jot down a little list. Okay, things you want to accomplish or maybe what it is on your mind, weigh the pros and the cons and kind of just look at it, okay? Because this is what we're going to be just jotting down, maybe a journal, maybe start a diet journal today. You know, with what I've been saying to a lot of my clients is just because we're, he we're heading into the new year doesn't mean you can't start today on what it is you want to accomplish, okay? You don't want to binge on the bad habits and binge on, you know, crazy eggs activities that are just when it hits 2020 it's just going to make you that much harder to to complete your goals okay so let's start on it now let's work on it today okay Taurus just a little bit of work and overall when we're jotting this list let's remember the simple things as well as the bigger picture Okay, don't forget about the now, but also remember long term for the future. Okay, are these plans that you're writing down today in your little journal? Go pick one up at the dollar store. Um, you know, you could pick up really great journals, um, plan calendars, just something to keep you organized. When you're writing that stuff down today, just be sure that you're keeping the simple things and the future long term short plan the now and the later okay do any of those plans um you know affect any of your goals um you know right around when you have it on paper it's kind of different when you take it out of your mind and you put it on paper towards it's a little bit Mm, easier to understand okay because I don't want to say you're seeing it from a different point of view but yeah kind of you are even though you wrote it you got that journal you know you organized it um, it's just a way to look at it from a different perspective because some of these things that you might be thinking are a little bit too personal to bounce off your spouse's ideas or you know your friend your partner it, it just might not be where you want to do right now so let's just keep it to the journal if that's what you want to do but I mean even if even if it is something you want to make public having a journal is always a really good way to go all right so we have the ace of wands which I see growth for advancement 
this inspiration that's really been leading this. Okay, we've been dealing with the traumas and we're really fixing it. We're becoming, like, I feel like this is where we were. We were dealing with traumas, okay? And now we're kind of coming into a state of mind where we're comfortable. Now let's put in the work. Let's remember the bigger and better things long term right now. And remember that it has to be inspired by our growth that we want. Okay. When you're writing all this stuff down today, I mean, if you want to go as far as just like meditating on it too, that's always great. Um, you know, I always recommend, recommend, I always recommend the 20 minutes every day, sessions of meditation, that it's in your growth, your passions, um, and just Take in mind all the opportunities that maybe you have been overlooking in 2019. Maybe jot those down in your journal, okay? Um, whether it's going to college or it's a job opportunity, um, an internship. Uh, even just an opportunity to get out there and do something that you normally wouldn't do get outside of your comfort zone you'd be shocked at the amount of good things that comes when you just really let that go okay move on with it let that fear of something going wrong you know leave and just start being excited about what could go right right in life okay we're going to start with that today that's po the positive affirmations and the changing yourself starts today now listen the old saying, Rome wasn't built in a day, so don't think at the end of the day you're going to lose this much pounds, or at the end of the day you're going to have this much accomplished, or at the end of the day you're going to obtain this much money. We're not really going after that, but we're starting it today, a little by little, okay? Here is your encouragement. We're working with the fuel of the past traumas, the feeling stuff, whatever it was in the past, and we're really moving on, okay? Okay, well, let's move on to, I want to do, I definitely want to do the um, Vintage Wisdom Oracle here. This is a great deck. The illustrations, everything is just so beautiful with these. See if there's something that you need to bring into your life, any inspirations. You know, sometimes they have some animals in the background, maybe get a spirit guide animal. Also, I don't know whether it's going to be angels or fairies, too. It's going to take the last reading. All right, playfulness. So today we're going to take an approach of playfulness. We not, might not be able to change that. That literally just, like, fell out right there. We're not going to be able to change what happened in the past, and that's okay. And we're not going to be able to accomplish what's going on in the future right now. Okay, but today, let's be playful. Let's realize that we're going into a stage of transition, all right? And also, the stage of transition promotes a childlike mindset to be open-minded to the fantasies, to the magic of life, okay, Taurus? And let me just show you this card. So let's bring that on, that playfulness. Okay, the simple things. You got to find the humor, even in the chaos. <laughs> okay, definitely easier said than done. All right, Taurus, since you are an earth sign, <clears throat> I'm going to be pulling from you the fairies here from you because that was really cute. I got a fairy-like sense from that card. You guys are an earth sign. What do you know? Let's go with this one. Let's see. What do we got? Summer. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in summertime. Now, isn't that crazy, Taurus? Because we're talking about manifesting here. Today's not about the actual accomplishment, okay? About establishing, <laughs> about, you know, finding that one and getting married. That's not what today is about, okay? It's about what's coming in the future and just preparing now. Don't forget that every step that you take along the way ensures your future. You know, every bit of positive affirmations and, you know, light and love that you put into your work and what you want out of life, the closer that you're going to get to it. 
Okay, that's why lately I've been posting some different stuff here on spiritual findings just to help people kind of push them along. You know, I've been posting things like money spells and, you know, meditation soundtracks and just some different stuff just so br people can branch out, just get away from the norm and realize that you guys are each, each and every one of you are just magical beings. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, this is where I am going to sign off with you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Like I said, if you would like to, uh, you know, get a chance at that free reading, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment below that you have done so. Um, reach out to me. Let me know where you're from, what zodiac sign you are. I love hearing from you guys. We also have a Facebook. You could check that in the description box below. We have a nice little family on Facebook as well as I've been a live stream a lot more on Facebook just because the quality of streaming is a little bit better than the encoding software that I now have to use on live stream. So check us out there on Facebook too. It's a fun family. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day and blessed be.